Hello, Sad Nation. It is Kelly Pritchard, and I am the advisor of the Allen East High School Sad Team. We're located in um, Midwestern Ohio, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about my fitness regimen. Um, I am a strength coach and a powerlifting coach, so my regimen is kind of like that. I like to lift um, heavy three days a week. Um, I've recently added yoga into my workout because I think my body needs it. Um, do I like yoga? No. Am I grateful for it? Yeah, I think it helps a lot. Um, and I walk uh, whenever the weather is good. So if we got good weather, I like to go out and walk. Um, that's what's working for me. I just turned 50 and, and I'm still keeping up and I'm doing okay. But this isn't about me. This is about what can you do. So I'd like to share with you, especially now that we're kind of at home with COVID, some things that you can do at home. Not everybody has a garage rack set up like I do. Um, you might have dumbbells. You might not have any dumbbells. You might just have some cans of pork and beans whatever it is you have, but I have three really good resources for you um, when you're at home. There's a couple free apps. One of them that I added is the Nike Training Club. And um, if you can get on there and it has all kinds of workouts for you and you can navigate through as far as what body area you wanna work with, uh, what kind of equipment you have and what the results are. Do you want strength or toning or fat burning? Um, that's a really great app. So that's the Nike Training Club. And then also bodybuilding.com puts out body space. And that's another really good one um, that'll give you a lot of different options as far as workouts go. And then the third resource is Fightmaster Yoga. Um, Leslie Fightmaster is wonderful and has a million different styles of yoga that you can um, get on and do. So they're all free. You can hook up your computer to your TV or just look off your computer or even your phone. Um, and she just talks your way through it and she's a wonderful calming uh, voice. So that's a great resource too. Um, I do have some tips for you. Um, there are some things that are gonna make you more successful, whether you're super fit or not fit. Does it matter if you're an athlete um, who's out there all the time or your best sport is couch potato? These tips are gonna help you. The first thing is you are only competing with yourself. Don't look at images that are out there and wonder why can't I look like that? Why don't I look like that? You are who you are and what you wanna do is compete with your own self and be the best you that you can and never emulate to try to look exactly like somebody else. Just make yourself the strongest and the fittest that you can be. Secondly, set goals. If you don't set goals, you will never know if you made it. You need to set goals and work towards those. It helps direct your workout and then it lets you know when you've actually accomplished. Third, set rewards for when you hit your goals. Those rewards shouldn't be things that destroy your workout. So if you work really hard and you hit your, your nutrition goal and then you go out and destroy it at McDonald's, it's probably not the best thing, but do set rewards because you deserve those for working hard. Fourth, set your fitness regimen like it's a schedule, like it's an appointment that you pay for, as if you are paying a personal trainer because those aren't the kind you're not gonna show up. But if you say, maybe sometime today I'll go work out, it's probably not gonna happen. Set it like a schedule, put it in your phone, stick to it. And last but not least, anything is better than nothing. If you can say, I moved and worked more days this week than not, so four out of seven, awesome. So I just wanna encourage you to get out there and do anything that you can. Um, hopefully we'll all be able to be together at a SAD National Conference soon. It was uh, great to talk to you guys and um, be well and be blessed.